Rick B's Daily Vlogs. With Mother Nature not being giving, that's not going to stop me from talking about murals. And one in particular, right here. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Standing on the corner of Divisadero and McAllister because of this one mural. Doesn't have a name, but it's pretty cool. It's been here since about 2013, if I can find. I try to look to see when it was when it was put up. It looks like 2013, but it's a little drizzly and rainy, but that's not gonna stop us from checking this out. Let's go. Let's go. Had to whip out the umbrella because of the rain. But this is called X Vandals. Looks like that's the name of the artist right there. I did read that it was a group effort that did this and has a lot of story behind it. I've got a few guys playing the instruments, musicians. I'm going to stand across the street in a second so we can get a better look at it. But let's start over here with this guy playing the trumpet. It looks, it looks pretty cool and I believe the name of the artist is right there. Chris Cranillo. And it's on the corner of this liquor store right here. So I kind of gave it the name the liquor store blues. It's kind of what it looks like to me. I mean, again, you have the guy playing the trumpet, blowing out some music notes. You got a guy right here playing the saxophone. Again, blowing out. You have the lady who's singing right there. Has the microphone right in front of her while she sings. And again, for everyone else who decided to put little stuff on it, like let it go and tag their name on it. Shame on you guys. This is a piece of work. Piece of work that an artist decided to put together to share with the community. And a lot of people just vandalized it by putting their own stuff. Again, it could be part of the art. I uh, apologize if it is, but down here, it definitely doesn't look like it was part of the art. You can see someone right there try to put their own stuff over there. And same thing over here. Looks like someone tried to put their own stuff over there. And pretty cool. Pretty cool mural. I like it. This is the north of the Panhandle neighborhood. And then right there, Jeanette Farrell, probably another one of the artists. This again, I said this was a team effort. And it looks pretty cool. Made my way across the street where you can see the full extent of the mural right there. Again, it's a nice, nice mural. X Vandals is the title that I saw when I tried to search it on the internet. And again, 2013 is when this mural went up. Back then, from where the liquor store is behind that bus stop, it just said Divisadero Liquors going across right there. And then the guys decided, let's put a mural up. And it's pretty cool. It's called X Vandals, but I, I kind of like the name the liquor store blues because to me, if they're playing something right now, it'll be some sort of jazz or blues. To me at least. But I like it. It looks pretty cool. Mural Week has been fun. And what I tried telling some of the other days, I'm kind of getting addicted to murals. I'm looking around and just finding out different murals. There's a bunch of murals in Chinatown that I still need to hit that I haven't. But this one, I decided to share this one with you guys because this mural, it looks nice. It does. Remember how I said that every mural has a story and this one is telling a pretty pretty vibrant story of music. The artist who made this probably likes music. Depending on the kind of music it's playing, it's either playing again with the clarinet and the saxophonist over there behind the bus stop. I'm assuming this is some sort of blues. Could be jazz, could be wrong. Could be jazz, could be blues, but usually a jazz group don't really have a female singer. 
where a blues group would have more of the female singer. The trumpet, the clarinet, and the saxophone could be either or. I don't see anybody playing the snares or the drums. But to me, this is this is cool. Again, the north north of the panhandle this year is where we're at. And look at the little details. The microphone. Let's get closer. Made my way across the street. You're probably going to hear a lot of the, the, the rain hitting the umbrella. But you got the saxophonist blowing. Look at, look at the, the look on his face. He's playing his heart out. He's blowing out some musical notes. It almost looks like bubbles, but it's definitely musical notes. And over here, right above the female that's singing, you got a couple of flowers. Could be roses. That could be a rose right there. That could be a rose. Could also be a carnation. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But you can see the details in her earrings. You see the earrings coming down right there. Looks like the mural is going to have to be redone again because it is peeling from over there. But then again, the definition of the microphone where it just looks like it's hanging from the wall and the clarinet player you can see his cheeks just all puffed out again playing into the mic more of the musical bubbles coming out from over there then over here you have the trumpet player and if you can see the time on his clock his watch it looks like it's 12, 10, most likely in the a.m. But again, you can see the look on his face, how these guys are just enjoying what they're doing. More musical bubbles coming up right there. Piece of nice, cool artwork here north of the Panhandle. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. A little more details as I just stared at it is the hair, the hair details. Just look at the hair, like her hair from standing right where I'm standing right now. Hair looks nice. I mean, it looks all wavy, especially with this guy right here. The hair, the way it flows. I like it. I like it. I like this mural a lot. Pretty cool. Now again, I can't tell if these guys right here who, if they vandalized this area right there. I, I can't tell. I'm not sure if they did. It doesn't look like it's part of the artwork. It definitely looks like it's something added on later on, which again, it's kind of a shame that they did that because looking at something like this, something that the ex vandals, the West Coast West, ex vandals did. Nice piece of work right here, north of the panhandle. And for them to just put their name over it or try to get their own design or take credit for something, terrible. Art should not be touched, especially if it's street art like this. Should not be touched at all. One last look from across the street. Give you guys a nice view of what it all looks like. Eggs Vandals, or as I call it, the Liquor Store Blues. I like it. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Mural Week will definitely continue again tomorrow. Hopefully the weather is a little bit better, but just a light drizzle. So I said, you know what? It's still time to get out and show you guys some murals that San Francisco has to offer that you guys probably don't realize is here. I drive by Divisadero mostly once or twice a week and saw this the other day and I said, hey, let me do a little research on this mural and I looked at it and I was like, man, this is a nice mural. This mural right here tells a lot about the district, the area that it's in. We're not that far from the Western Edition where I told you guys before it was kind of like a jazz blues community. So this right here being where it is, North of the Panhandle, pretty cool, pretty cool design and I, I like it. Not as much as I like the Sunday at Dolores Park mural from yesterday, but this one's just, just as nice. Vlog week will continue again tomorrow. I'm probably going to hit, I already done the mission. I've done the mission. So I'm thinking about maybe hitting Chinatown. There's a couple of places in Chinatown, a couple of murals I saw in Chinatown that looks pretty cool. So I'm probably going to check that place out. Probably will. Parking's kind of a hit or miss there. So we'll see. That also depends on the weather. If the weather's nice enough for me to get out there, I'll get out there. We'll see. You can see I got the hoodie on representing the Warriors. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and hit 
the notification button if you haven't. If you don't feel like hitting the notification button, come to my channel every day. There is a vlog out every day. Unless there's days that I can't put out a vlog. Like if it was really raining and storming right now, I wouldn't have put out a vlog. But the fact that it's not, and it's just a light drizzle, I want to share the X Vandals or the Liquor Store Blues. Whatever you guys want to call it with you guys. Thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. All that hard work for the paint to just peel off like that. Still looks nice, though. Good job. Still looks nice. this.